The Paulding light, also called the lights of Paulding or the Dog Meadow light, is a light that appears in a valley outside Paulding, Michigan. Reports of the light have appeared since the 1960s, with popular folklore providing such explanations as ghosts, geologic activity, or swamp gas. In 2010, Sci-Fi Channel's Fact or Faked, Paranormal Files conducted a paranormal investigation and concluded that the Paulding light was unexplained. Michigan Tech students conducting a scientific investigation of the light in 2010 were able to see automobile headlights and tail lights when viewing the light through a telescope. They recreated the effect of the light by driving a car through a specific stretch of U.S. Highway 45, US 45. Topic. Location The light appears in a valley outside of Paulding, Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula, near Watersmeet off US 45 on Robbins Pond Road, Old US 45. The viewing location for the Paulding light is located at approximately 46 degrees 21 08 and 89 degrees 10 minutes 43.5 seconds west. Topic: <inaudible> Folklore <inaudible> 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 The first recorded sighting of the Paulding light was in 1966 when a group of teenagers reported the light to a local sheriff. Since then, a number of other individuals have reported seeing the mysterious light, which is said to appear nearly every night at the site. Although stories related to the light vary, the most popular legend involves the death of a railroad brakeman. The legend states that the valley once contained railroad tracks and the light is the lantern of the brakeman who was killed while attempting to stop an oncoming train from colliding with railway cars stopped on the tracks. Another story claims the light is the ghost of a slain mail courier, while another says that it is the ghost of an Indian dancing on the power lines that run through the valley. According to John Carlyle of the Detroit Free Press, one legend is that it is a "...grandparent looking for a lost grandchild with a lantern that needs constant relighting, the reason the light seems to come and go." <laughs> Scientific investigation While popular folklore attributes paranormal or supernatural explanations for the light, scientific investigations show that it is due to car headlights on the north-south stretch of US 45, approximately 5 miles kilometers north of the observation area. In October 1990, a group of investigators using telescopic, spectroscopic, and travel time analysis identified the Paulding lights as the head and tail lights of vehicles traveling on US 45 north of the observation site. In 2010, students from the Michigan Tech chapter of the Society of Photo Optical Instrumentation Engineers used a telescope scope to examine the light, and were able to see vehicles and stationary objects on a highway, including a specific adopt-a-highway sign. They were reportedly able to recreate the Paulding light by driving a car through a specific location on US 45. They also recreated other observations related to the light, such as multicolored patterns, police flashers, and variations in intensity, high and low beams. 
They hypothesized that the stability of an inversion layer allowed the lights to be visible from the stretch of highway 4.5 miles (7.2 kilometers) away. Paranormal researcher Ben Radford explains that there are many cases of similar light reports across the US, but there are many possible sources for the lights so that there is no unifying theory as to what they can be. Some are unexplained, but others can be headlights, campfires, aircraft, cloud reflections of distant city or vehicle lights, insects and so on. At the end of the day, Radford explains, it's more fun to imagine the distant glimmer as a ghostly railroad brakeman's phantom lantern than the headlights of a 2005 Honda Civic. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal investigation. In 2010, the Paulding Light was featured on the sci-fi television show Fact or Faked, Paranormal Files. The investigators were depicted trying several experiments in an unsuccessful attempt to recreate the light, including using car headlights from a north-south section of US-45 and a flyover by an airplane with a spotlight. According to SciFi.com, after conducting an EVP session, they finally decide that the phenomenon is unexplainable. Topic. See also. Hestelin light. Gordon light. Marfa lights. The spook light. Brown Mountain Lights Light of Saratoga St. Elmo's Fire Street. Lewis Light Will O' the Wisp <laughs>